So you want to know how to take down the uh, bolt carrier. So let's see if I can show it to you here. So first things first is you have to remove this pin. Okay, this is the firing pin retaining pin. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay. So look right there. Now you can use a round to do that. Poke the nose down in there. Pry up. Comes out really easy. Pull it out. There it is. Set it down over there. Next thing you have to do is you see the um, bolt cam pin. Okay. Actually, let's back up a step. Now that we have the firing pin retaining pin out, we can actually just go tap firing pin comes out. Okay, so there's the firing pin. Now, we can go back up here to the bolt cam pin. And this thing, actually, if we push in on that, and that was just a push in on that thing, okay, gives us real easy access to the pin here, which we can rotate like so. You have to rotate it because otherwise it hits this thing. We just pull it out. Okay. There's that. Set it down. Now that that's out, the uh, bolt can actually just be pulled straight out. And there it is. Okay. So that's the part that gets real dirty. Now you can go even further. I'm going to set the bolt carrier down here because we don't need that anymore. Alright, so once we have that, there's a tiny little pin right there. I'll use my pointer here. It's right there. Okay. That's the extractor pin. This is the extractor right here. It's a little clawed doohickey that grabs the back of the rim and pulls it out. Okay. To remove that, you put pressure right here. Just push down on it. Use your firing pin as a punch. Just push in right like that. Okay. And notice it came out on the other side. Right here. Pull that out. And again, you have to maintain pressure on this thing, otherwise, you can't get that out. But once that's out, the extractor just kind of comes off. Okay. So there's the extractor. You can actually see the notch there that grabs the back of the, uh, well, here, I'll just show you. Maybe you can see this. I don't know if you can see this. Just grabs the back of the rim just like that. Pulls it out. So it's just a little, little hook right there. I can actually pull it right out of my hands. Okay. And look at mine. It's pretty dirty. together is pretty easy. By the way, there's the inside of that thing. If you can see that. Put it back in there is pretty easy. Um, this is a spring and a rubber gasket here. So you just have to set it right back in. You can only really go in one way. Just like you had to put pressure on it to get it out, you got to put pressure on it to get it back in. So I'm pushing around real hard on this thing. Taking my extractor pin. So We'll do hickey here. I'll put it right back in. I'll just push. And you're going to struggle with it a little bit, but you'll get it. Here, let's try the other side. Hard. There we go. Just seats back in there. And we can go back over here to our bolt carrier. And 
and you got to put this in a certain way. So this is the outside, right? So this is the part that you see out of the dust shield. So that is when I say facing out, I mean this is facing out. So the extractor, if you think about it, if you look at the end of the extractor, the end of the bolt here, you've got um, a little pin here. Okay, and that's it. that's actually spring loaded. That's what pushes the back of the cartridge. And then this part over here is our extractor, which we had taken out. And that actually has to be flinging it to the. So this actually pushes out and holds here, which causes the round to. So let me just show you here. Causes the round to be pulled out like this. So it just goes tink. Okay. So this has to be on the this extractor has to be on the outside. Okay, otherwise it'll not eject. So extractor facing out. Put it back in there. I have to twist around a little bit to get it to seat. Kind of fiddle with it here. There we go. Push it in. And then once it's in, and notice it's fully like pushed down, it's like pushed all the way back. Uh, you have to line up, and I don't know if you can see this or not. You have to line up the extractor hole there, which I'm pretty sure you can't see that. But we'll take the, or not the extractor hole, the um, bolt cam hole. So we'll take the bolt cam pin here, and we just drop it right down in there. Push. We can pull it out and rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, so that's in there. And then this, the easiest way to get the firing pin back in there is just grab hold of the whole thing. Just cup it with your hand here. And just drop the firing pin. Just drop it right down in there. Oops. seats in there and just shake it around a little bit. Okay, and you can see it up in there now. So once you get that there, I'll turn this around here. So we've got our firing pin, retaining pin hole. So we just push the firing pin, retaining pin in there. Twist around a little bit, push, and that's it. Make sure your firing pin doesn't fall out. Looks good. Bolt cam works. Alright, that's it. That's how you take it apart.